Pisces. Hey, loved ones. So I'm here with some messages for my beautiful Pisceans. Okay. So some of you guys are really glowing up. You're in some very glorious energy. You're very much in your essence, your divine essence. Okay. Because this is calling, catching my attention, Pisces. What are the messages for my Pisceans? Messages for my Pisceans. Oh, not yet. Okay. Messages for my beautiful Pisces. messages okay so we got this card is coming out so much okay slow down we're gonna tap in and see what all the, we're gonna connect all the dots what are the messages for my place green it's a lot of green yep you guys could have gemini in your chart somewhere what are the messages yep another green card what is the messages green you guys need to drink water if somebody drinks aquafina water i don't think it's enough um, nutritional value in Aquafina for you, whoever that is for. That is somebody who needs to stop it and drink more clear water. Try spring water. Somebody thinks that distilled water is good, and somebody also thinks that purifier, purified water is fine. Nope, you need to drink you some uh, spring water, baby brother. Well, you don't have to. It's your, I mean, you know, for, you come over here for guidance, so I thought I had that in. Spring water would be more beneficial for you. I feel like there's one more card that needs to come out for my Pisceans. All right, thank you. All right. Okay, yeah, that's right here. That's right here. All right, so valuing yourself, taking the accountability into the times where you um, didn't show up for yourself and maybe you went through this period where you were feeling judged by yourself. I talked about that in a video on TikTok, how I was put in situations that aligned with certain energies to bring me to an understanding about judgment, how I was judging myself because I was being judged by a lot of people. That projection was real. These people are very um, sheltered mentally. So you are the light that brightens in the inner standing within them um, of the depths that they need to go within themselves. That's why this bird showed up, right? Because a bird um, uh, taps into the energy of the depths within you, right? Um, you guys like the energy. Some Pis some of you Pisces align with this energy when the sun looks like this outside. I'm sorry, my phone is going dark, y'all. Hold on. I'm not going dark, but you know how... Um, yeah, let me charge it. I don't know if it makes a difference on your side, but like when the sun over the horizon, you like some of you guys connecting to this, it's also sacral energy. The more you're clearing your sacral space, the more you see, like the more you're able to open up heart to heart kindness. Cause the green is coming out and the green represents the, um, I want to say throat chakra, heart chakra. Um, but yeah, you owning your awareness, owning your, um, owning the possibilities in your life right now, instead of looking at the glass half empty, you're for sure in the energy of seeing things half full because you see how things have formulated in a way where they have benefits you mind, body, soul, spirit, financially for some of you guys, even actually, um, that's why this sacral is here. You, what I mean by sac sexual healing or Sexual healing and sexual energy is the work that you have been doing on yourself. It doesn't necessarily have anything to do with another person. All these messages are about you and your growth, your healing and your ascension. So, you know, um, I'm sure some of you guys know this. There's something that's being brought to fruition because of this clearing and its healing within your sacral space, right? You're needing to listen, all right? Some of you guys need to listen and hear more when it comes to a Leo, or some of you guys could have very powerful Leo placements, or there is this strength that is literally in you that people can sense from a million miles away. They don't have to physically be in your contact, but if they do, they could really feel it if they're around you, okay? You are listening, right? You're listening, your kindness. It's something about your kindness increasing. That's the kind of the energy that's pulled over for Gemini. What's the messages for my Pisceans? My messages for my Pisceans. Pisces, where are you? Mm -hmm. Somebody wants to go to California or somebody wants to get out of California. What's the messages for Pisces? Ooh. messages 
taking care of your mental health is important to you. I feel like some of you Pisces really take that serious, your mental health. Like you don't want no conflict. You're not arguing with nobody. You're not going into that energy. You'll separate and pull yourself out. You, some of you guys, this could be Sag energy, Sag rising. What's the messages? Something like that. Mm -hmm. I just saw that Knight of Cups. The Page of Swords information broadcasting. Something is broadcasted when it comes to your children. You guys could have an air sign child. Yeah, this is definitely child. Page of Swords by the book and children. The persistence, right? You you remain in some type of way. It behooves you to remain in that page energy, which is ch that childlike. Because when you when you are in that childlike energy, you learn more. You're open more, right? But this nine of oops, this nine of wands is persistence, diligence, right? Your intentions are very clear to you. You see everything, like whatever your intentions that you were setting for your life, for some of you guys, your lifespan I'm hearing, but it's about your manifestations, right? Some of you guys, you are old. Some of you guys are seeing that you were a complete healer. You were a bedside healer in another life. Bam. You literally went to people's homes. Some of you guys had to trek very far journeys to heal people. You were, it was, it's something about your hands. And that's so funny because remember I told you guys before in other videos that you have portals in your palms, portals in your feet. I was saying that on the video earlier. So you can heal. You have a very powerful energy. You probably healed yourself from some afflictions, some things, whether it was mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and physically, right? So you, cause you're temperate, right? This temperate card and this blessed card, you're temperate, you're balanced, you're going somewhere by water where there's huts, where there's like little small homes. And you're going to feel so confident. You're going to feel so, um, I would, it's like brave, but it's gratitude. It's like you're brave to go here, but it's like a lot of gratitude that's being, you know, like you're being aligned with that. Like you're really letting people know how much you appreciate and you're letting yourself know, you're letting your guys know, you're letting your whole spirit team know how much you appreciate them, right? Five, what's this five of wands? What's this five of wands? Four swords, the face, the eight of swords and the page of cups. Sometimes you resist the change, but you know when you go up there because what you're probably seeing when you go into rest mode or when you go into defensive mode or when you go into scare mode is the absolute, all the abundance and all the beautiful energy that is coming towards you. And that probably frightens you a little bit, Pisces. What is this cleanup um, card? Feminine card keeps coming up. The King of Wands keeps coming up. Keeps coming up. So yeah, you're building blocks functioning better like you're, you're you're feeding into yourself you're feeding into yourself you're mastering yourself and you're aligning with joy you're floating on cloud nine there's something that's being locked away you're locked something away you're keeping something away the balance the king of wands telling you to shish like you shishing your masculine side because you know Pisces you guys are known I think this is for the men and women's that you um you're known for being feisty for being sassy for letting you know but you know what you have learned that because you're such a sensitive soul that you gotta pull it back you gotta get that masculine and you gotta pull it back okay and then you be in this energy with the whole card but then you said more this is your masculine energy really the king of cups okay this is your sign this is cancer and scorpio and this is the same showing this is exposing yourself in all types of ways some of you guys are going to be exposing yourself this is exposure This is like, not saying literally, but like somebody getting struck by lightning or something happening in a storm. It's darkness because they got the clouds over there. And it's going to be at night because this is stars standing on this hill. You're going to do something very therapeutic, like wherever you go. And it could be when you go to, what is that energy? Where's that car that brought that energy? When you're going somewhere, like out, this could be out of state, another country or whatever. And you have this very spiritual, you allow this very spiritual occurrence 
to happen for you. And it probably aligns you with a Cancer or Scorpio. It's this masculine energy, right? Where this situation leads you to something else. This is going to lead you to another journey. You are on a hell of a journey, Pisces. This is uh, reminding me low-key of the movie Eat, Pray, Love. You know, when she took a whole year, I think she went to Italy. Gosh darn it, whatever. She went to two other countries, child. I don't know. But watch Eat, Pray, Love. I just watched that maybe like two, three weeks ago. And I've watched it before. But like, it's that type of energy. Leo energy, Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, okay? And Sagittarius. Okay. We have one more card for my Pisceans. Transformation. You're no longer scared. You're nurturing yourself. You're tired of the game, the, the, the mind game that you've been playing with yourself. You know it's not for you. What is not for you? What is not for you for my Pisceans? Not for you. What is not for you? To the water, you're going to the water. Being the cloak, your water sign. So being near the water, you need to be near the water. Bam. All right, I love you guys.